Hi guys, so for this video I'm going to use yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 2 and on the original project I'm actually using red and black but for the sake of this video I'll just use red and uh, another lighter color. And the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 4 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 7. And now on the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain 3, then through that loop I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 2, then through that same loop I'll make 3 double crochet. I'll chain 2, then again through that same loop I'll make 3 double crochet. Chain 2, then through that same loop I'll make 3 double crochet. I'll chain 2, then through that same loop I'll make 3 double crochet. I'll chain 2, then through that same loop I'll make 3 double crochet. Alright, now that we have 6 sets of 3 double crochets, I'll chain 2, then right there through that third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1. Now for row 2, through these next 2 chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Then right here through this 2 chain space, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain 3. Then right here through this 2 chain space, I'll make 1 double crochet. I'll chain 2. Then through that same 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. And now through these next 3 double crochet chains I'll make 1 double crochet in each chain. Now through this next 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 2, then through that same 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. In the next 3 double crochet chains I'll make 1 double crochet in each chain. Through this next 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 2, then through that same 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. In the next 3 double crochet chains I'll make 1 double crochet in each chain. Now right here through this 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 2, then through that same 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. Now through these next 3 double crochet chains I'll make 1 double crochet in each chain. In the next 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 2. Then through that same 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. In the next 3 double crochet chains I'll make 1 double crochet in each chain. In this next 2 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 2. 
Then through the same two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. Now through his next three double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And to finish off this row two, right here through this third chain, I will make one slip stitch. And now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So yeah, this completes row two. So from now on, we'll be repeating row two. So for row three, I'll use yarn in different color. Then right here through this two chain space, I will chain three. Then through that same two chain space, I'll make one double crochet. I will chain two. Then through that same two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. So basically from now on, we'll be repeating row two. Now through these next seven double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Then right here through this two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain two, then through that same two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. And now again through his next seven chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Here through this two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain two, then through that same two chain space, I'll make two double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row three. So as I said before, we'll be repeating row two until our work measures our desired length. So, so basically we'll be repeating row two. We'll continue working on our existing double crochet chains and plus we'll be increasing on these six corners for every row to come. You can mix and match your colors however you like to. But in my case here, I first two rows I made in red, one row in black, two rows in red, two rows in black, two rows in red, one row in black, two rows in red, two rows in black, two rows in red, one row in black, and then one row in red. So in total I should have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So yeah, I have eighteen rows in total. So, so our project has six corners, but I'm gonna measure it from this corner here to another corner right there, just so you can see a measurement. So from one corner to the other, we have uh, around 20 inches, yeah, 20 inches. And we have six corners. So after we finish this, we need to make one more identical part. Now we're going to flip them over on the wrong side, with the wrong side up. So I'm going to join these two sides together, only these two corners. Remember we have two identical parts and now with the yarn needle I'm going to join these two corners together from here to there.
All right, so now that we have joined these two corners together, just like this, we have five corners on each of these sides left. I'm going to take this uh, third corner, see, one, two, three, and I'm just going to fold it right there to the center, just like that. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'll take this third corner, count it from here, so one, two and three and I'm just gonna fold it right there through the center so now we are going to join these two sides together so the top part of the sleeves I'm gonna join these two sides together and I'm gonna repeat the same thing there but just before we do that we are gonna leave a small opening right here through the middle so I'll take a stitch marker and I'm gonna count 15 double crochets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And right here, after the 15th double crochet, I'll put a stitch marker. And then I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'll count 15 double crochets from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So right there after the 15th double crochet, I'll put another stitch marker. We can count this more accurately later on. And then we'll put a stitch marker and then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So basically what we have to do now is join these sleeves from here to there to that stitch marker. Then we will leave this opening right here through the middle. Like from this stitch marker to the stitch marker, we're just gonna leave it like that for now. And then from this stitch marker to the other corner right there, we are just going to sew. So basically that will join our sleeves. And then make sure to leave a loop right here. You know, cause we want the loop there because that's where our hands or our arms are gonna go through. Before I start sewing it, I'm going to turn it inside out. So before we do this next step, you have to try this sweater on and see how it fits around your shoulders. After I tried it on, I actually realized that uh, it was a bit too wide around my neck. So I went on and I uh, sewed four more chains on this side and four more chains on the other side. So instead of having 15 double crochets 
left, I have 11 double crochets on both of these sides. And plus 22 right there in the middle. So you're just gonna have to try it on and see how it fits on you and what's comfortable for you what's, and what's not. So now, we are going to work. See here these two chain spaces on this side? I have two chain spaces on the right and two chain spaces on the left. So working from these two chain spaces, see, right here with me. So right here from this two chain space to this next two chain space, I'm gonna make one double crochet in each chain. So from here to there, I'm gonna make one double crochet in each chain. So now for the next row, we'll turn our work around, so we continue repeating the same row and we'll make one double crochet in each chain. So we'll continue making one double crochet from here to here until we have eight rows in total. And now to make this sweater longer, right here at the bottom, from this two chain space to this next two chain space, all around we're going to make one double crochet in each chain. So yeah, we made one double crochet in each chain all the way at the bottom of the sweater. And now right here that we are at this last two chain space, I'll make one double crochet through that first chain 
then I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. For the next row, I'll turn my work around. Then I'll use yarn in different color. Then right here to this first chain, I'll chain three. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. So basically from now on, we'll repeat the previous row. So we continue making one double crochet in each chain throughout this row. So we repeat this until we have 19 extra rows of double crochets. So now my sweater measures around 30 inches. And now I'm gonna make one double crochet all around this sweater, even around the collar. So I'll chain one, then right there through the same chain I'll make three half double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, one half double crochet. In the next chain, one half double crochet. So we'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain all around our sweater. So yeah, we'll make one half double crochet in each chain except at the corners. At the corners, we'll make three half double crochets in the same chain. But in the rest of the chains, we make one half double crochet in each chain. So yeah, we repeat this all around our sweater. So I already made one row of half double crochets all around the sweater, even around the collar. Now if you have buttons, you can just put few buttons right here. You can make three or six or as many as you want or you can just uh, you know, use a brooch when you wear it to secure these two sides. So that is all for today guys and thank you so much for watching.